ladies and gentlemen. It could be that you just saw an advert or you've seen it already. Let's get this out of here. Don't need it just now. I'll uh, wait for the adverts to finish and people to settle down. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Let's have a look to see what we got here. I picked out some others. Eugene saying, how was your weekend? Weekend was great, but I ate too much and now I'm fat. Uh, evening, Tim. I'm here chatting. Much thumbs up. Just be watching, Craig. No problem. Uh, good evening, Tim. And Christine, hope you're well. Hope you enjoyed your walk this morning. I did, actually. It was... Uh, it was a spur of the moment thing that I went over to the uh, Playa Paraiso there, but I'm glad I did have some good, some good footage there. Even all multitasking, cooking meatballs and watching and typing. I mean, if you probably notice I'm on a street here, but uh, I'll show you where I am in a minute. Oh yeah, and Lee put a post on YouTube, he needs a bit of space to be back. That sounds good. So let me know in the comments what the sounds like what the sounds like and there is cars going past but I've got me back to them so we'll see evening 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 says everybody okay I'm at a place today called La Churata La Churata well that other way there you go it's very Venezuelan and Canarian cuisine again with arepas. The arepas are smaller, uh, but they're a dollar each, so you, you can shove five in your gob, I think. Okay, thumbs up. Thank you. Now, I've done it again. I've come out without my little camera and my little iPad, so I can't see the comments apart from the, the five that come past. I think I can go back, but I still can't see who's doing it because it's all in red. I'm going to put in a thing here. Thank you, Nikki. Hola, no more deep fried arepas and more walking. Yeah, I'm at a place now with deep fried arepas. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not eating today. But I am on the alcohol free uh, beer with limon. It tastes great. It comes in a dozy, a latte, or a can, depending on which thing you are. It's dorada. There you go, in the sun. Now, let me know what the, um, what the picture's like because I've got a, a neutral density filter on today with a, a polarizer. So you should get some nice pictures there. Okay. Even some of you seen around what the morning, albeit in my living room. Walk with me, get on a treadmill. Walk with me, Tenerife has been taken, hasn't it? Has been taken. Right, so I'll show you where we are. I did this earlier. There's no sound, so... Uh, now, it used to be called El Corral de Guanche, and that is the address, but it is uh, La Churata, Churuata. And this is the inside. So it's got a large dining room there. And then it's got a bar for maybe, I don't know, at the moment, two people. Because there's got to be distance between two meters. And Luba Luz. And then this is the, straight onto the road outside. That's the kitchen in there. There you go. Don't look. So this is the the road to um, between Cael Sabachi and Los Gigantes. And in fact, it's only about 500 meters from the top of our road. So here we go. Venezuelan, you got chapa, chapas, empanadas, arepas, Rolls, sandwich, burgers, appetizers, and main courses. And they're quite reasonably uh, priced. Homemade sauce and desserts. When you're looking back on ketchup, you can do that. I'm sat at this front table here. There are tables in the back, but I wanted to uh, be in the sun uh, for some reason. I might change, actually. I might change. Okay. Here we are coming back. That's where I stopped it. So we'll come back here and we'll even go two up, I think. So I'll be on one side and you'll be on the other. So that's my view. That's what I'm looking forward at. 
and you can see all the way down to the beach or so a thing. So if you were following me on my walk the other day where I went um, from my house down to the village, then up the hill, then down that steep hill where the dogs were being let out, remember that one? Well, that's just down here. So to the right of me, I think, yeah, to the right of me are the white houses and to the left of me are the villas in Kaiasavaki. So today is Lederhosen Challenge and we're at La Churuata this week. Okay, so we'll just uh, turn those off. There you go. So as I say, I've come out without Christina today, but she was so touched about all the things, all the people that said, I hope you have a great time and hope you uh, were, did, did everything nice that she decided this afternoon to send you a message. So this is her message. Hello, my friends. I want to thank each and every one of you who wish me luck and thought of me while I'm having my mammography. It wasn't very nice, of course, as some of you may know. And it was bad in two ways. First of all, I had to get up really early and I hate that. I even had a t-shirt when I was young, looking like that. One of my favorite t-shirts. But I've managed it. So thank you very much. Today the weather's not so good. And I'm not going to join Tim for his Lederhosen contest. I'll join him again on Friday. On the Wednesday I'll be there anyway. So see you then. Bye. Bye, Christina. So that was a nice... Uh thing she did there I think and obviously she'll be back on Balcony Bants on Wednesday and she'll come out with us we might even come here on Friday and try the food we're not sure yet but it uh, depends what the weather's like and whether we can walk or not I'll have to check I think the road's a little bit uh, a little bit dicey so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this off now and I'm going to show you uh, over the top there so what the view's like from the from the back end so I'm going to take this camera and uh, I hope I don't lose connection. There we go. There's nobody else here, so I'm not going to wear a mask. So, there we go. So you should be able to still hear me. So those two things in the distance over there are the buildings that we can see from our flat and this is another banana plantation and then down here is Kaiosavachi so that's where we were so we're not far away from where we are and uh, just go past the kitchen and wave and this is the road outside and this goes to Los Cristianos, down here. And this goes to Los Gigantes. So this is what the bar looks like from the side. So it's a quite a nice corner bar. There's parking on the street. There you can see the white houses down here now. These ones that we looked at the other day. And uh, this is the restaurant. I'd like to know what that tree is. So, I'll get back now and you'll say you couldn't hear me and I was breaking up and everything, but we'll see. 
Ah, let's have a look. Ah. Here we go. Let's get my car out of shot. There you go. Right, see everyone. Hope all's well, yes. Come on, guys, smash the like button. Yep. See you on Wednesday. 201 watching. 63 thumbs up. Don't forget those buttons. Hi, Tim and everyone. Everybody's saying hi. Hi, Ali. Ali Ben. Ali Ben, I still owe you an email as a thank you for your wonderful gift there. Um, I found them the other day. Sometimes I don't get the message that somebody has donated, and it's only when I go and look in that I see them. Already done before, Tim. Started Nicky. Hobby says this place has the coldest beer in Tenerife. Okay. Oh, wow. Connection is good. No buffering. Good. Everyone else just watch your walk and catch up. Says Harry. Hi, Harry. And Ian Miller. All good, Tim. Uh, I've opened the room up, Ian, if you want to come in and say hello. Or if anybody else fancies it, go to timothydowd.com. And uh, there it lets say how you can join the lives. So you can, uh, you can pop in today because I do have an earpiece. And we can, you can say hello. Uh, Ian's out, that cracking building behind you, Tom, the left. Is it a house? A cracking building behind you, is it a house? Let's have a look. Let's have a look to see if it's a house. I think it's a nearly finished house. I think it's nearly finished. It probably ran out of cash. So a quick look. So that, whoops, that part of the house. Can I point? No, I can't. That part of the house is done and this part with the two turrets on it isn't. But it looks like it's been like that for quite a while. So they probably ran out of cash uh, doing it. Or something. Can we try and meet up in September, Tim? We're 21 days out in Tenerife. Mark Allenson, of course. As I say, what we're going to do is when people can start coming over, I imagine that there's going to be thousands of you. Hey, muchas gracias. Conozco muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Hey, I just got some tapas. Here we go. These are the arepas. These are the little arepas. So there's a uh, ham and cheese one there, aguacate. And there's one with meat and one with coleslaw. Yes, sir? Queso blanco. Queso blanco, okay, okay. This is the white cheese one. And this is the ham and cheese. This is aguacate and this is meat. Oh, wow. Muchas gracias, señor. Well, so we're going to try these out. I'm going to try the meat one first. Don't tell Chris because we're having a curry when I get home. <laughs> I'm going to try this one without the sauce of sauce tart. Mm. Oh, that's good. That is good. Mm. They are smaller, but I think they're nicer. They're more, uh, what's the word? So we had three up at there. So we had three pieces and that was like seven euros. So I could get seven of these for the three of those. And you can have all different um, fillings with them. Oh, it looks like... Thank you, John. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. If somebody else supported the channel and I missed it, I do apologise, but I will look later. There's a type of communal accommodation for Indians in the Venezuelan. I've actually got a picture of a churuata. It's on their menu. That's what it looks like. So that is a churuata. Okay. So I'm going to bite into the cheesy one now. This is the queso blanco. This is white cheese. Mmm. That could do with a bit of sauce, maybe. And this one is a, it looks like aguacate, which is, uh, I can't remember. Ag, aga, no. Mm. Oh, that's good, that's chicken. 
chicken and whatever that green thing is that they make guacamole out of. <laughs> Christine will be killing me. Mm. Couple of flies here, but it's all right. What else we got? You won't eat your curry. Get a doggy bag, eh? Thank you, John. Will you try and meet him in September? Yeah, we said that one. Uh, looks lovely, looks scrummy. They look nice. Absolutely delicious. Get a doggy bag. Are well, you any near Cari La Pinky? This is the road to a banana plantation as our son Brenton is renting a seven bedroom villa in July. Oh, that's a uh, Kyla Pinky. I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. I'm not sure where, where Kyla Pinky is. If it's the same one as, you, as last year, then that's over in Playa Paraiso. But if not, then I'll, I'll take a look. Mmm. Hamanches, that's really good. Yeah, I think avocado, thank you very much. Martin Man City, have a drink, thank you very much for supporting the channel. <laughs> be ordering the large Lidl's. I've already done the, the extra large, to too. Crispy on the outside, soft on the mid, in the middle, says <laughs> Ben Obia. <laughs> channel in Lee there. Nice place, it is a nice place. Somewhere else to visit when you're in Tenerife. You know, you're gonna you're gonna have to come for like six weeks to do all these all the ones that we visited. Mm. These are really good. I'll I'll tell you what I'll do. I don't know whether I can do it now. All right, bear with me, and I'll tell you exactly where I am. Let me go to this one here. Let me get rid of that. I'll let you look at that for a second because I'm going to take this camera and I'm going to turn it off. I hope I'm not going to destroy anything. So bear with me, ladies and jelly spoons. I'm going to find out where I am. So I'm going to disconnect from the switcher. So he's gone. Okay. Then I'm going to go and look up Google Maps. So I'm looking in Google Maps where I am now. Okay, that's where I am. And I'm going to look for Kyla Pinky. Kyla Pinky Adeki. I'm going to say directions. Okay, it's four minutes by car. It's 2.8 kilometers. So it is the place that... Um, let me see if I can turn this around. There you go. So it is the place that um, that I went and looked at, Calle La Pinky. It's a massive villa in Playa Paraiso. And we're the other side of Calle Sabaki. So Playa Paraiso, uh, Calle Sabaki is the next village, and then Playa Paraiso after that. So it's only four minutes by, by car, so you get a taxi. You're here in four minutes. If you go on foot, it says 36 minutes, but I don't recommend it because it's... Um, it is, uh, what's the word? Dangerous. It's dangerous. Okay. So let's go to, back to the switcher and say so share the device and share the camera. And then all I have to do is to put my sunglasses back on. That's them. And pop the number. Ah. <sighs> Then we can cross this all back to me. So as you see, the sun's going down now. So it's, it's, I'm actually going to be in shadow very soon. So that'll be that'll be quite nice. I should have taken the opportunity to finish this. Oh, um, there are only two bites. So, oh, I can, I can see the uh, comments now. Okay. Jet 2 taking off and landing Glasgow. I did see some planes. Um, oh, wow. Neil Davidson, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much.
stop hugging people, never. And Lee Shaw, thank you very much for for uh, supporting the channel there, Lee. I know you're a regular, uh, both of you are regular, Neil and Lee, and uh, not forgetting Andrew Horseman. And when he can, he always comes and supports us. I'm from Maria. Wow. Pear character holding his belly, laughing out loud. Is that me? <laughs> you will get fat. That's me, the avocado. I could go over. And Martin, we've had. Wow, thank you so much for supporting the channel there, guys. And John started it off there. Unless I missed somebody at the back there. Okay, let's go back down to the other comments. What's that one? Are you anywhere near kind of thing? We've done that one. Avocado. Neil, that's really nice of you, Neil. Thank you so much there. That's the villa behind you. <laughs> okay, no, I don't think so. Just love these vlogs, learn something new. We go in mid-January. Oh, thank you, guys. Wow. Irish Prime Minister says today that the Green Pass will be for travel between EU countries only. End of August is expecting time. Yep. OK. If you're talking about the Green Certificate, this is a thing that the European Union is going to do, and it is to enable free movement of people without having to... or, or reduced controls for the... What's the word? for the uh, PCR test, for instance, right? So if you've been vaccinated, you're probably not going to have to have a PCR test to, 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 to move countries. If you haven't been vaccinated, then you probably still will be able to do that. And it will be in the um, Spanish health website of what you need to do. So when you fill your form in to travel to Spain, it'll tell you exactly what you need. Now, because the green certificate is a European certificate, then it will not be classed, it will not be issued in Great Britain or in the UK. But the UK are working on one, which is similar. So all they need to do is to ratify the two and then say, OK, this is equal to that or that's equal to that or it's half equal or whatever they do with this, these politicians. And uh, then you should be able to travel from outside the EU to inside the EU with some sort of thing. Yeah, the dark clouds are always there behind us, as T uh, Tina's asking. So um, the dark clouds are always behind us because the, the, the uh, what's it called? The, uh, I can't even think of the word, feucht it is in German. Humid, humid air comes in and then when it goes up the mountain, because we are on a mountain, you know, it's a volcano, uh, then it condenses. So the, those clouds are typically always there if the air is, uh, is humid. Okay, Gareth, what bar open to? It's open till 11, I think. Uh, Magic could be Trier Commission the airline. <laughs> In, yeah. Yes, you can go inside now. Uh, in fact, for those of you who've missed it, I did a little video at the beginning, um, which will show you the inside here. So that's where I'm sat. And then I went in, I was at the bar. And then there is a dining area as well. You can hear me sneakily eating an avocado and chicken. Mm. So they can have 50% capacity inside with a maximum of four people on a table. Two people sat at the bar every two meters. Andrew Horseman, thank you so much. And here's the uh, the menu. You'll be able to stop it on ketchup and have a look. But cachapas, empanadas, empanadas, arepas, rolls, sandwiches, burgers, appetizers, main course, side dish, homemade sauces, and homemade desserts. Not bad prices either. And this is outside. And that's the view down to Cayo. In fact, those are the white um, luxury houses that we looked at the other day. 
Andrew, thank you so much again. Scotsman in Tenerife. Oh, just it jumped. Uh, Scotland announcing its own green list tomorrow, probably be even smaller than England's. See, the difference, I think the difference... Heather McCarthy, thank you so much for the, uh, for the donation there. You know, the, um, the green list and stuff is to do with what you have to do when you return to your home after you've been on vacation. So depending on how they actually class us. But I, oh, but I got some good news for you, actually. I got some good news. Um, let's take this one first. Let's do the weather first. So this is the weather for today. Oops. <laughs> so it says 23 degrees is a high, but it's a lot warmer than that uh, in certain places. It's cloudy today and tomorrow, and the rest of the week is going to be sun. And it does say 16 and 20, but that's not true. That isn't true. This is uh, Casas del Petito, but I think it's going to be warmer than that. As you can see, not a cloud in the sky from the satellites here, so it is local cloud, it's not sort of high clouds that reflect for satellites. Um, in fact, the whole of the Atlantic is pretty, is pretty clear at the moment. And if you look at the isobars, you can see that we're in the tail end of a, of a high pressure system there, so that's pretty good. And uh, I've got the latest COVID figures as well, which you might be interested in. So it's the first time that um, we're under 3,000 in the Canary Islands altogether. 50,259 people have recovered after being sick. And unfortunately, we have had 749 deaths. Let's hope we can keep that under 750 uh, for the whole of the Canary Islands. If we zoom into Tenerife here, you'll see for the first time that we're also under 2,000 in Tenerife, uh, which is a great, uh, fantastic thing that uh, has happened here. So with 188, I don't know why that got small, but basically uh, the Santa Cruz is under 1,000 since months, under 500 La Laguna, Adeki with 81 is down from 91, um, Arona 65 and the rest are all under 50, so not even worth talking about. So it could be that our um, infection rate has been coming down since the middle of April and we nearly hit the 50 mark. So I reckon tomorrow when they meet, they're going to put us on to level one in Tenerife, which will be great. So if the locals put us under uh, level one, then, um, then I reckon that we're going to be on the green list anyway by the time you can come over, which I think is going to be the 1st of, uh, of June. Now, something was put up today that... Um, I can't even remember, but it was, it, it was extended till the 31st of July, and it was something to do with entering the Canary Islands. But I don't want to give you hearsay, so I'm going to wait for the official thing tomorrow and uh, I'll tell you what it's all about. So on Wednesday, part of Balcony Banter, I'll do a little bit of the AFCAST and I'll update on everything that's been official. Now you will get it in the Canary and Weekly and all that before it's official because they get a sort of a sniff of what's going on. But I like to read the actual um, law because sometimes they do change it at the last minute or it's been misinterpreted in the leak. So what does level one mean, says Neil? So. We have four levels of alarm here, and uh, basically it's more stringent. So in level four, you're not allowed out after six o'clock in the evening, and uh, no restaurants are open, blah, blah, blah. So total lockdown, basically. Level three is you are allowed out, between, but you've got to stay home between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. So it's like a nighttime curfew. I think they're allowed 50% uh, capacity outside and four people on a table, no inside service whatsoever. Level two, which is what we're on at the moment, is restaurants can have 
50, uh, 75% capacity outside, 50% capacity inside, with a maximum of four people on the table inside and six people outside, and two at the bar. And level one, oh, and the, and the um, curfew's 10 till six again. Level one, I don't think there is a curfew, and 100% open. And yeah, level one is, is, the, is the easiest, really. Unfortunately, you still do have to wear masks everywhere. That, that is on all levels. But they might even be able to change that now because since yesterday, uh, the Canary Islands now have the authority to change the state of alarm because the Spanish state of alarm finished on midnight Saturday night. Unfortunately, loads of people went out and celebrated in mainland Spain. And uh, so we'll, we'll probably see a, a rise again in mainland Spain. I don't think it happened here. So uh, we're good, we're good, I think. Uh, Tina's saying, if holidays are brought out aloud this year, we'll be devastated by the travel is Yep, uh, I think that, um... oh, where are we? Well, where are we? Somebody said level three. What does level one mean? I think we'll all change in June for the better, says Alison. We need to support the Canarians. Curfew, yes, curfew, no, who knows? Just now, no curfew tomorrow. Chris Todd. The, um, there's always a curfew, it's just the when it starts changes with de depending on which the level. And I'm not sure with level one if it's if it's finished or not. I will check that. I will check that one. Carl saying stop starting no good for any industry, that's also true. What happened was the, the tourism industry has been dev has been decimated. In fact, more than decimated. What's a, what's a hundred times? So we're, ten, we're at ten percent capacity at the moment, and it's a lot because the Brits are not allowed in because of the EU. But uh, I think that might change. Well, it'll, it'll probably change the end on the first of June, but it might change earlier if the Canary Islands organise some sort of corridor because they have the power now to do that. So we'll see what happens. We'll see on Thursday what happens. Tomorrow they might change the level here, and then on Thursday they might say they're in, they're in things with somebody. So somebody's popped in. I'm just gonna finish doing this. Oh. Put my earphone in. Okay, we're talking there about uh, the vaccines. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let me just go and grab Ian. So we'll unmute him. Hello, Ian, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Super. Now we'll go up to the interview. And there he is. No, there he is. <laughs> we'll do that. How are you? Right. Very well. Under the circumstances. How's Dundee? Oh, it's wet. Wet, cold and wet. So cold and wet. You can't sit outside and eat arepas. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, that's a nice backdrop you've got there. Yeah. Mm. So we're at a place called, as you probably saw, bar restaurant La Churata. Yep. Churuata. And it's in Corral de Guancha in... Um, Cayo Sabaki. So it is right. past us, Cayo Sabaki. It's just right. outside, yeah? It's yeah. just outside. And they got a great uh, menu here with uh, cachapas, which are these things, I think. All right. And there's a load of us. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go past here like this. So you can right. see that. And everybody can sort of... Well, I'll, I'll do that in a minute when, I've got, when I'm full screen. How are you, sir? How's the missus? Oh, it's just fine, fine, fine. Still getting up to mischief, as normal. Uh-huh. <laughs> and what have you been doing lately? Oh, we're not getting very far just now because uh, the weather's not very reliable. You know? Okay, okay. I've had two, three days in the garden and been caught twice soaked. The mud, <laughs> the mud pit, then? The mud pit. Uh, it's, it's turning out to be a mud pit, actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just got the last of my planting and that done today. Just in time, mm -hmm. um, before before the the downpour came, like you know. Uh huh. 
Oh. Did you vote in the local elections? Yes, I did. And uh, are you happy with the results? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> couldn't, you, hey, couldn't you expect anything else? <laughs> put it this way, Tim. It doesn't put me up nor down. Uh huh. It's. Um, I was looking at the. Well, we're not going to do politics, but I was looking that it was. It was a uh, a bit of a disaster for Labour. I, I heard uh, in Scotland, and also in Hartlepool. So uh, that's that's a lesson to be learned there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. That's uh, everybody to their own. Mm -hmm. But we're happy because we're behind palm trees. There you go. Oh, you're right behind the palm tree there. So am I. <laughs> How do you manage that? <laughs> so I'm going to take the sunglasses off here and see if that's any better. Ching. Did that? Did that change? What did you do there? See, I've got these little sunglasses that pop right. on. Right. And then what happens is... It's, uh, it changes, but you don't see the change, but the shutter speed's lower, so you get a bit more, a bit more blur. All right. A bit more blur, so I'm just testing right. it out. Just testing it out. All Jesus right. is behind me. Oh, there's a bus just going fast. You yeah, missed it, bus. Jesus won't be behind me. <laughs> oh, oh, there is. oh, there is a bus stop here. There is a bus stop outside. So that I means you, I can get the bus up. I, I, I came up and got the um, with the car, and I'm on the alcohol free. So I could yeah, get the bus and get past the now. All right, there is. It's what? actually a bus stop right here. Ah, uh -huh. it's actually just just where you're sitting there. Just at the back of where you're sitting. Oh, yeah. well, well that's are. the way your bus went. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I know. Okay, so what we got? Um, spanners are getting everywhere, people are saying. A variant right. breaks out on holiday, you're in big trouble financially for quarantine. You know, there's a lot of people talking about um, the vaccine and the quarantine when you get back to Britain and all that stuff. And they're, they're exactly right. I mean, travelling abroad these days is going to be... Is going to be... Uh, I don't know what the word is. But it's going to be hard. And also, it's going to be. There's a lot of unknowns. So, if you go to any country that turns red when you're there, and you haven't budgeted for going back and quarantining a whole family for ten days in a hotel, that's as worst case scenario. Then there's a lot of people who are going to go, uh, going to go bust, you know, for for a holiday. Yeah. And I think the problem is, is the country's run by people who have no problem with money. So they cannot imagine that people would go on holiday and then be be gravely affected by a little a few thousand here, you know. So I, I think that that's that it's out of touch. So they're making rules which really s people like you and me that uh, live on tight budgets um, just it affects us in ways that you can't believe. So you yeah. do have to be very careful if you're making decisions. You've got to be very careful. I think uh, before you go any journey now, any length of time travelling, you have to do your homework uh, yeah. before you go. That's you true. know, I mean, that was, that was one of the reasons that we decided, I mean, we were due to come out in May. We mm -hmm. actually should have been there now. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I just ate uh, your arepas. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so we just decided. We just decided. No, let's let's forget about, it. and we'll rather wait till later on in the year. You know, hoping things will calm down a wee bit. Mm -hmm. You know. Alison was saying she's going to come now. She knows there's a bus stop here. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. They've um, they're digging the roads up in our village now. So, but so when I go into town, I got to come out of town and back into town. If I'm in a car, but basically I can just walk. I suppose I can walk. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that this morning. Is that a communication uh, doctor? At the I'm not sure in? whether it's a two-inch pipe for water or whether it's communications. I know at the top of the road they're doing two-inch pipes for water, but this one doesn't doesn't look like it's the same. I'll have a quick. I'll have a look what tomorrow. And maybe have a chat with the guys. But uh, uh, the, I've not seen the, the pipe up the top is is black. And the one down the bottom hasn't they haven't put it in yet, they just dug the road up. Aye ah, right. I know I know beside well, I know across here 
they've got their different colours rather different. If they've got fibre optic, it's purple. Yeah. Uh, no, we've it's already electric, got, we've already got fibre optic green. in in the thing, yeah. and, and I think we're pretty cool with the, the rest of the stuff. I think it's just the water pipes that need new, um, uh, replacing, replacing. Yeah. Yeah. Ian, so it's easy to get in today. Click the button and off you go. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, no problem. I was just sitting listening to you there for a wee while, and then mm -hmm. I says, "Right, I'll just go now. Let, let you do your, let you do your stuff." Uh huh. I haven't got anything else. You I don't know. think you saw Christina's. Thank you. Did you? Yes, I did actually. I, and I think you got everybody. It was donating. I think I got everybody. Yeah, and it was and it was really nice today. Thank you so much for everybody who donated. I'll be able to pay me beers now, and. Uh, oh. And get a taxi home, leave the car here. <laughs> no, I'm not drinking tonight because I drank at the weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a beer pipe to the apartment. You get there as well. Magic McKay. <laughs> Drink and eat the price as of the wait, holiday home. Say, yeah. get, the bus, uh, get the bus and use your bus pass, but you didn't have a bus pass, did you? <laughs> yes. You do, you, sorry, I just read Mike Nine Red says, La, la churata, is, uh, churata, Churuata. Is a highly select clientele. If the vehicle in the background is an indicator, we got Jesus over here. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I, don't. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> it's, I was trying. I was trying. I was trying to read what the other word was. It says Jesus did in that corner. It says es excursions. Excursions, Jesus. <laughs> it, it's a guy called Jesus, and it's, he owns an excursion shop. All oh, right, it's not what it is. So it's not. It's right. not the Jesus. Uh, uh, UK Vaccine uh, Task Force took risks at the beginning, was paid off. Zelda car, yep, they did. You can still carry yeah, well, the that's, runner, that's even though you've been it. vaccinated. There you go. Go ahead. That's England drops down, are going to be dropping down a level to level three. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's a bean can. Uh, yeah, uh, Boris had a, had their briefing tonight at five o'clock, so they're uh, okay. going to be coming from level four down to level three. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I think everybody's on on the way down. I mean, I just showed the the average uh, here. Um, Solo this one. Dos uh, por favor. Yeah. See. Sí. Muchas gracias. Y las repas están muy buenas, muy buenas. Gracias. So I just got my. Oh, oh, here we're back in the room. Yeah, so we're, we're going down. So we should be under 50 by tomorrow and we should get down to level one. So that'd be pretty cool. Okay. Well, that would be good. That would be great. You've gone a wee bit fuzzy. I've gone fuzzy, have I? Maybe. Me? It could be you. a bit fuzzy. Let me clean the lens. I'm just uh, see it. No, it was just after you. It was just after you put that chart up. Oh really? Maybe my. Um, I'm on. I'm on the outskirts of town, so maybe the connection's not as good as it should be. It's maybe not go. just. Uh, the scooters right. are all dangerous, and when you go with them, all will shout, "Jesus!" <laughs> True. <laughs> Whose house? Who's in the house? Who's in the house? Buenas tardes, Tim. ¿Cómo estás hoy? Estoy muy bien. Muchas gracias. That's Woody Adventures. Pubs and restaurants can serve people inside from next Monday in, in Great Britain. That's a great, great idea. Muchas yeah. gracias, señora. Uh, i got another couple of tins now. I'm always taking two tins. Oh, there you are. And, a, and this is the coldest beer. A frosty glass. A frosted glass. A frosted glass. There you go. Oh, no, you've, come, you've come back clear now. I've come back clear, haven't I? Okay, God said thank, as they say. Thank Bob, thank ah, Bob for clear, that. That's clear now. So Carl is saying, we're a year on, but the rest of Europe aren't the vaccine. That's the problem. Yeah, what happened with the vaccines is that um, Britain invested a lot in the, in the development of the vaccines, but their contract said you've got to supply us um solely us so nobody else got them and that's why we were behind i think is that uh, the european union right. just dropped the ball in in ordering the stuff and so but now there are hundreds of people getting vaccinated on the island now 
Uh, in fact, um, Cleo, if you listen to Cleo's podcast that came out today, she's had her first jab and she was at the Magma Center Aye. and they're just lining up bang, bang, bang. You know, they're getting through hundreds of people. And I was up with Christina on in the Mahon, yeah. and they've got a vaccination center there, and they're bang, bang, bang. In fact, there was no parking at the uh, at the hospital. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going yeah. to plan now. In fact, it's I'm, going better to plan. I think we'll be seventy percent by June. Yeah, I was listening. To, yeah, I was listening to Cleo earlier on, like you know, and she said she was saying it was no problems, like you know, uh -huh. but uh, we uh, we were the same, like I mean. We got our first one in one of the small hospitals at right the very beginning, mm -hmm. uh, King's Cross. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, the second one, they brought out the, the Caird Hall, which is a, a big hall in the centre of town. Mm -hmm. And it was all buried off. And, uh, the, you know, the arrows not on the ground. Mm -hmm. And you, you sort of, you just walked in and the guy pointed you in the right direction. They gave you a mask. They pointed mm -hmm. you to the reception, sort of, you register. You go in and there's people standing and they're just there, there, there. It's your turn, boom. That's it. You know, yeah. I think I think that a lot of a lot of people have done it right, but every country, and I mean every country, has has got it slightly wrong in certain circumstances. For the simple reason is, you've got rules and regulations where you've got to wear a mask everywhere, yeah. But then again, they don't stop the kids go in and partying on a Saturday night and then they come home and cuddle granny and then that's it, it's it's all done again. And in Britain, you know, you just say arrows here and arrows here and arrows here, but then you, you, you can get together um, somewhere else, you know? Uh, I really don't know what it's like, but yeah, I've, I've, yeah, seen, yeah. I've seen like shopping centers and places where you don't, people not wearing masks and stuff. I don't know how good or bad it is. No, I, I but, mean, I'll, you, you, may, you mentioned shopping center there. I'll give you an instance of a shopping center. Mm -hmm. Our, it's no shopping center. Our local shop just down the street. During the, the restrictions, they had all the machine at the door where you did your hands when you went in the door. Uh -huh. They had arrows one way, up, down, round, what have you. Uh -huh. and when you came to the checkouts, they had a sort of a barrier up. Yep. Last, last week or the week before, when they sort of released the restrictions a wee bit what did they do they removed everything everything yeah. and it it was a free for all last week yeah. but uh, this morning uh, i don't know if someone has said something or someone's been in the arrows are back <laughs> on the floor <laughs> you know no, all we, of the blue spots it's uh, a lot of people were saying there's um there's been no flu since since the restrictions have come in and there's been none of this and none of that and the other and I say well now I think that we are all washing our hands more not touching our face so it's obvious that all those tactile things I mean even Juliani was saying you don't hear of the you know the holiday uh, diarrhea and whatever you know anymore yeah and I... basically it's because it's because uh, people are looking after themselves. They're, they're washing their hands more and stuff, you know. Or yeah. it's people before were maybe saying they got diarrhea, trying to get claim on the insurance. I don't know, one of the two. Aye. You book a <laughs> tour around paradise? Just have a word. OK. <laughs> <laughs> they're, still, they're still talking about Jesus' excursions. Uh, no, I, I, I must have started that one, actually. It's just jumped up. Uh, where are you walking tomorrow, Tim? I am considering because it's going to be overcast in the morning again, I'm considering doing Army Nimi because that's a really hilly place. So you want to tune in for that. I'm going to park at the bottom of the hill by the Bar Polisson and walk uphill. Get up to the, uh, the top there, go to the motorway, which is just below the Arepas Bar La Volante will be where on Friday. And then I'll look out at that, uh, at that view there, show, show you our house and then come back down. Raimundo, this place looks like a hidden gem. We drove past a few times, never stopped. Showing us around, hospitality received, makes us want to go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Pat and Ray, mm -hmm. they, I mean, the, the people were lovely. I came in, I said, I don't want to eat, I just want to film and have a drink. And they said, fine. And uh, they asked where, um, where it was, so they're actually watching in there, I think, live. And, All right. Uh, hi, if you are. And good, yeah, good. they brought the Arepas out just for me to try out. That's really nice of them. So they're going to get a good oh, tip today. They're going to get a good tip, and you guys have supported mm. that. Thank you. 
Rules are for the responsible. You can't legislate for the irresponsible, says Slimmer Life. That's very true. Rules are for the responsible. Roger Channing, take your oxygen mask. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to take it slow. I'm not going to. I'm not going to jog jog up these hills. I probably need me pittens. Bless his little pittens, as they say. Uh, does it? Does it? Does it? Does it get any easier if you start it? Yes, it has definitely got easier. Um, my joints are, are not as achy, and also I found that I can jog a little bit now, especially going uphill. So that's really good. All right. And. Um, so yeah, I think it is getting easier. The only problem is, is that I was down to 112.4, and I weighed myself this morning, and I'm 114 again. So I don't know whether that was just the few beers I had last night that I haven't peed out yet. But there you go. The hills are going to do a dodge job for your cardio, says Alison. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, we 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 found that as well. Uh, if we had missed two or three days when mm -hmm. you went back out, you know. Uh -huh. When it was, you're, re you're reaching the hour and that, you're beginning to struggle. But if you do three or four days on the trot, always uh -huh. out, it gets an awful lot easier. Yeah, yeah, you it know? really does. It really does. Yep. So, where are you, asking John Mack? It looks familiar. So, I'll just show you exactly where we are. Uh, I, did, I didn't, I was going to send the map over, but I didn't. Oh dear. We are in between Chaos of Achi and Marasul on the TF-47 going towards Los Gigantes. So that way is Los Cristianos, that way is Los Cristianos. Uh, Los Gigantes, sorry. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna run this, this video again so that people can see. It's called yeah. El Coral de Guanche, but the bar is actually called La Churuata, which is a Venezuelan communal hut. I'll show you that, that picture also in a minute. So that's the inside. Looks really nice. And they're open every day but Tuesday. So closed Tuesdays, but they're open all day, every day, apart from Tuesdays. There we go. So two people at the bar. There's the kitchen. Okay. And this is the road to Los Cristianos. Mark, Mark Murphy says it's muscle weight and my legs are getting bigger. There you go. Slimmer Life says you can't pee Slim. calories. That's true. Well, I, I can yeah. pee weight though. I can pee weight, hopefully. Okay, for those of you who missed Christina's um, thank you message, do you want to play that again? Did yeah, you, stick it on again. Did you hear it, Ian? I got... I got the I got a wee bit of it. Okay, I'm just going to play this one again because Christina was wanting to thank everybody, so I'm just going to play this again. I'm going to. If you want to mute yours. Hello, my friends. I want to thank each and every one of you who wish me luck and thought of me while I'm having my mammography. It wasn't very nice, of course, as some of you may know. And it was bad in two ways. First of all, I had to get up really early. And I hate that. I even had a t-shirt when I was young looking like that. One of my favorite t-shirts. But I've managed it. So thank you very much. Today the weather's not so good. And I'm not going to join Tim for his Liederhosen contest. I'll join him again on Friday. On the Wednesday, I'll be there anyway. So, see you then. Bye. And we're back in the room. And we're back in the room.
We're back. We're back. Oh, yeah. Um, Magic McKay's is saying, yes, you passed out on the way to the Grand Melia. Yeah, the Grand Melia's in uh, Alcala. That's a very nice hotel, actually. The Grand Melia. A lot of people are, um, are weird about that one. Good place for Freaky Friday. You know, I was thinking about that. If um, The only thing was that Christina wasn't too keen on the arepas for some reason. And I think it's because she had the vegetarian one, which is basically just arepas filled with vegetables. And she did like the one with the um, avocado, though. So we might come here. Um, we could sit outside and maybe in the corner over there. Uh, let me just... I can't turn you around, but there you go. Doesn't matter. Doesn't it matter? Uh, yes, I can, I think. Yes, I can turn you around. OK. We can zoom in as well. OK, no, there's people there. Zoom out. And let me just show you this. Did that work? No, it didn't. Preview to live. There you go. So we can sit in that corner over there and have a look out to see. Right. Looks nice and blue there, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. Looks nice. That's and quite blue nice, there. actually. That. Well, let's uh, let's keep that up. So I'm going to come on here like that and like that. Does that work? That works, doesn't it? What have you got? Now? I'm still seeing the tables and chairs. Oh, you know why? Because I went to director now mode. Now look at that. I went to director mode there for a second. So anybody else coming in? There's nobody else in. Is it just Ian? OK, so we're 56 minutes in. So I'm going to actually close early, I think, for the simple reason is that um, i got to pack up and go and cook the curry. Well, i got to heat it up. I made it the other day. And I'm going to heat it up and make a bit of rice, so I don't want to be too late. And uh, so we're just going to have a look. Alcala has a cash and carry there, very cheap. Yep, that's called the Yeezel Man. The Yeezel Man. Okay, everybody's saying the message is lovely. They're, they're about 30 seconds behind, so that's the message is just finished for them now. Yep, yep. The message is lovely, yep. thanks for the update. I'm, yep. I'm pressing these so that she can have a look later and see all the people that thanked her. Then she's going to have to do another video thanking people for ha right. thanking her for the thanking video. For <laughs> Ad infinitum. Ad infinitum. <laughs> Thank you, Vince D. Yeah. And... Yeah, mornings are a bad thing. I don't do mornings. That T-shirt, by the way, is... It must be 35 years old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Yeah, better safe than sorry. That's what that's what they're saying. Not a nice experience, but better safe than sorry. Yeah. Thanks as always, yeah. Tim. Okay, Tina yeah. is going. So basically, we're gonna we're gonna uh, wrap it up now, Ian. Yeah, thanks, that'll do. Thanks again for joining us. Thanks again for your chit chat. And no hey, uh, problem. I hope it uh, encourages other people maybe to come on and just say hello. You know, it's uh, as you can see, you can just shoot the moon and say what you want. If you've got a story about Tenerife, that's even better. Or if you've got a question, just pop on and ask. I've got, I've got a wee story and a wee question, but it's, uh, it's a question for the viewers. Well, I'll leave it till later on because there's a wee bit uh, involved in it. OK, uh, well, we'll come on on Wednesday or Friday and uh, you can ask. Well, Wednesday's your uh, balcony banter, isn't it? That's OK, you can come on balcony banter. Uh, we don't even know have what you the, got a, the subject have is. Have you got a subject? No, I don't. I am. So uh, I did ask yesterday, but the girls didn't come up with one. Oh. The, well, I asked them to because, do a positive one, though. Hi. Uh, I was going to have what we talked about uh, a while ago, within two three weeks' time, but I'll mm -hmm. talk to you about that. Okay. So let me know. Or send me an email, um, um, and then I'll we'll organise a time and stuff. Because you know what I'm like. I'm terrible like that. Okay, Nikki Dunn saying thumbs up on the way out. Thank you very much, everyone. Okay, Ian, I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to go and say to right. rest everybody, and we'll see That's you all guys uh, in the next one. Thanks, Ian. That's it. See you Good. later, man. No problem. Bye bye. See you later. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Okay, I'm solo mio. So let's do this. One, two. Are we ready? Do, 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 do.
Google thinks you might like this one next. And if you press the little button down the bottom there with our wedding photograph, you might be able to go and sponsor the channel using PayPal. And if you're still not subscribed, use the little circle there to subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you, everybody, and thanks for all the people who donated. It really does make a difference, and it does help. And we can come here again or on, either on Friday or another Friday, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Can you ask the ladies on Wednesday what they're looking forward to post-lockdown? Okay, let's do that. Um, what, are they, what are they looking forward to post-lockdown? That's a great subject. We should do that. That's Vincent Flanagan. Okay, good night from Steve and Sandra. Um, bye, 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 bye. Indecision is another one. All right, indecision. Let's have a look to see... Uh, oh, we, could, we could hit those. We could hit both of those. I'll have a look. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the... Oh, I've got to do this again now, because this has got to be in the last 20 seconds of the, of the thing. This has got to be in the last 20 seconds. So I've got to do it again now. So I've got to get rid of this. Oh, thank you. Alison, thank you very much. And buenas noches a todos for Maria. Muchas gracias. Mi amiga. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Google thinks you might like this one. Don't forget to sponsor. Don't forget to subscribe.